night it's Pam again um, today's kind of a meal prep day and I'm trying something new because I have not been meal prepping the best that I really can so today I am gonna make some um, sauces and I do make my own oil free salad dressings and one of my favorite things to make is a dairy free sour cream um, I sometimes I'll make it with white beans believe it or not the white beans are amazing but today I'm going to use silken tofu this stuff is awesome you can't find it everywhere I think I get this at Giant Eagle um, but it's not like regular tofu it's got a really different consistency so uh, this is super simple the first thing I'm going to do is drain this it won't be super wet like tofu and you don't need to um, squeeze it out like tofu but so this is a little tough I'm just using oh this knife to kind of cut it um, and and just see how that just kind of get the extra water out of there that will make it a little bit thicker um, so we're gonna put that in you could either put it in a food processor or into a blender I have a little ninja here which I absolutely love I'm having so much trouble, hold on. There we go, scissors go a long way. So let's try and get this in here without making a huge mess. I'm just gonna dump that right in there and I'm gonna do it over the sink, maybe. I haven't used this for a while, like I said, I've been making it, you know what? I've been making it with beans and it's this is a little tricky. So we'll just cut it into some pieces and see if we can get it in there with a spoon. I don't know, instead of using my fingers, we'll use this spoon. I didn't really plan ahead here, but I'm just showing you how easy this is. It's literally so, so easy. Making a little bit of a mess. Oh boy, I don't even know, is this good? I think this will be all right. Um, I maybe should have used the food processor. I got rid of my big blender because I have a very small house and it does not um, have a lot of space. So I have to be really particular about the stuff that I keep here. So, all right, next, so simple. We are gonna add a clove of garlic and I'm just gonna, cut that up a little bit so that it isn't it's tough to get all the, we'll just give that a few little cuts right there throw that in that's just for a little extra flavor now the this actual recipe that I'm using actually calls for um, red wine vinegar but I don't have any. And I actually just have the regular apple cider vinegar that is not, does not have the mother. I usually get that. But my husband bought the wrong stuff, so we're just gonna use it up because I don't like to waste. I think we're gonna use about a tablespoon of this. This is not super critical here. And I'm gonna use the, the juice of about a half a lemon. Get rid of those seeds so we're not eating our seeds. And then you just kind of do it to taste. This is literally how simple this is to make sour cream. And you can use this sour cream on baked potatoes. You can use them on um, fajitas or tacos. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put, put that juice in there. This is what makes mm -hmm. it sour. So I don't know, that might be a little bit too much, but oh well, it'll work. Now I am going, oh, a little bit of salt. Just, I don't use a ton of salt, but I don't limit my salt maybe as much as some people. And here we go. I'm gonna And here we go. This is the sour cream. You can taste it. We'll just rinse off this spoon and give it a little taste. You can always, if you like it a little more sour. But look at that. That looks like sour cream, doesn't it? And here's the test. Let's see. It's good. 